All right. Boom. Hey, everybody. It's Big Pop. Okay. Let's not rattle my laptop. Sorry. I got, I got, I got enthusiastic. I was like, ah. <laughs> Wake up. <laughs> you wanted to. All right. Uh, Fable. Everybody, it's Big Papa Grump for a new podcast. Money in the Banks this weekend. Forbidden Door was last weekend. Blood and Guts was yesterday. So you can get some sort of time frame as to when we film this. Um, yeah, actually, all right, let's talk about Forbidden Door a little bit. Like, I don't want to go match by match, detail by detail, or anything like that. But for a show that like half of the people they wanted ended up getting hurt. It put on a the, the, it it ended up being a really good show. Yeah, yeah. I, like I mean, Osprey, Orange Cassidy. Um, yeah. I mean, you you can make the argument as to which one was the match of the night, but I agree. My favorite match of the night was probably was was Orange Cassidy Will Osprey. You know, I mean, like seeing um, Claudio was cool with the uh, same. I I still think that the Osprey. I, I don't. Watching what Cassidy was able to do, like it, it, Orange Cassidy wasn't hindering Osprey, and I was somewhat worried about that just because Cassidy's very, I don't know, like he does what he's supposed to, but I think he's like more spotty at times. And for some, like this one, kind of just made me completely be like, oh, never mind. He knows what the hell he's doing. Yeah, yeah. He, uh, <laughs> I think, like a lot of people look back at his match against Omega as like his coming out party. Yeah. No. I mean, yes, but no, this was definitely, oh, yeah. you know, like, yo, hey, everybody, Orange Cassidy is here. But you so. got matches, like, with the uh, most of match with Jericho, where it was, like, to me, I feel like Jericho carried that more because Orange Cassidy was still kind of, I don't know, he's been doing it a while, but it seemed like he was kind of relearning how to do it on a bigger scale because he, he, yeah. he was an indie guy. By definition, he had a dumb gimmick, and he like would put his hands in his pocket, slowly kick people in a high school gym, like that was him. And like, and then <laughs> AEW like spot like took, picked him up, which was great for them. And now, honestly, like he's over enough that you could have him kind of be your. Daniel Bryan in WWE story where it's like that guy that you don't think is going to win the title gets the world title. Yeah. Just because he's able to hold it. Like, I don't know how long he'd hold the title. Oh, but God. Like, I, like how, how, what does he do with the belt? Right, dude. I want to see him with a championship. Not <laughs> like, just like, like does, does, does he just kind of have it sticking out of his back pocket, you know, drag it along the floor? But, um, wear, but yeah, no, that, like that match please. was really – go ahead. He'd wear it like Cena did where he just puts it <laughs> – uh, that match was really good. I I, I thought the uh, I think the Thunder Rosa match, the Thunder Rosa Tony Storm match, flew under the radar a little bit because, as you pointed out, it felt out of place. Like you know, it's like this yeah, is, you know. But it but I, I it was good, and I think you know uh, the um, the main event I think had the problem of trying to live up to like the Everything. crowd was tired. Yeah. Especially after the uh, the the switchblade Adam Cole, pay, you know, uh, I think... match, which which yeah, unfortunately the ending ended up having to be kind of was underwhelming. But you know, if injuries happen, but here's the thing: I unfortunately, and I know they weren't going to because it was still an AEW pay per view. Those should have been switched. Uh, yeah, yeah, I can. I think... The star power alone in that Fatal 4-Way was a main event. That main event's any other company. That would main yeah. event New Japan. That would main event Ring of Honor. That would main event WWE. Like, Yeah, but unfortunately, AEW is not going to make their world title secondary on. Yeah, on that's – and I, yeah. I get that. I mean, I guess unless if, like, Paige or Cole were winning, maybe they would have. But I feel like that would have been too much of a tell. Like, why is the IWGP World Championship the main event of an AEW? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, but yeah, so overall, like, there wasn't a bad match on the show. Most of them were fun. The uh, the FDR match was fun. 
you know, <laughs> yeah. uh, I, I missed, I, I didn't see the pre-show, so, you know. I, 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 I didn't really see I, did, I didn't get to see Murder Bird or anything. <laughs> but, um, and so then you have Blood and Guts yesterday, which, first of all, the, the Danhausen FTR match was, was, cool. was kind of interesting. I, I it was all right. I didn't see the uh, Orange Cassidy match. I did. It was good. For obvious re good. for reasons that involved me not being home yet. And then, uh, but the uh, but the blood and guts match was fun, like so much better than last year's. I didn't I like I like how they redid the throwing off the uh, the top of the cage. Spot I saw the Guevara the, spot. The, the, huh? I saw the Guevara spot. Yeah. Oh. Oh. He did the uh, on Instagram. He had they did the thing where it's like. Where just as he's throwing them, it pauses. You hear the rec record scratch. You're like, I bet you're wondering how I ended yeah. up in this situation. Yes, yeah, so I saw that. the only thing of that is I saw what happened to Guevara, and then I saw Eddie Kingston get mad. They won. Like I, I don't know. It's just to me, I, I turned it he off. He wanted to I beat think. Jericho, and Claudio yeah. stole a spotlight. I think, I think, I think they're telling an interesting story there. I dig it, but. Um, I saw it was nine o'clock and they were lowering the cage and I was like, I'm not watching this for an hour. And I turned it off. <laughs> like, I, I straight up did. I turned off the part you were supposed to watch of that show. I was just like, no, I'm not doing it. Um, but yeah, so, so that brings us around. So it was a good week for AEW. Yeah. You know, um, by the way, Bla Blair Davenport's back in NXT UK. Anybody care? <laughs> Yeah, since we were talking about Osprey. Um, the, uh, <laughs> sorry, still associate the two. Um, and so I guess on the Money in the Bank, by the way, Money in the Bank, weird, because like pre-injury, Cody was winning that. Like there oh, was yeah. no way he wasn't. And Which is unfortunate that that's how they were going to, they were going to hot shot him that way, but. Eh, I'm. Still going to wait. I'm going to obviously, okay, our picks aren't due until essentially after 10 o'clock. I'm giving everybody until the end of SmackDown for them to announce who the seventh member of the ladder Dude, match is. Is that what it is? It's like they're just trying to fill it. It's not like a, there is going to be a mystery guy at the pay-per-view. Like, not, to... not that I'm aware of. If there's okay. going to be a mystery guy at the pay-per-view, it's Cody. No, if anybody... If you're doing that, because Cody's not cleared, he's not coming back that fast. The only person that it could be, there's two people, is either Wyatt or Gargano. If you're not announcing who it is, uh, I don't see it being Gargano. Uh, that would be the only two names that are big enough to just be hot shotted into the like. Yeah, so we'll, that we'll are missing. See. So I'm going to I'm looking at um, <laughs> with Cody or without Cody. Right with Cody in the match, it's it's between him and so we we picked two on ours. So which I did forget to mention uh, when I sent it out. The, the, yeah, there's a lot of new people. Yeah. Those got them. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, well, I usually include it in the the text and just forgot because I was I was you know just doing it in between runs or whatever. So I um so with Cody, it's it's my two picks would be Cody and Seth. And then without Cody, Seth and Drew. Uh, yeah, I'd say Seth or Seth and Drew would yeah. probably be where I'm going. Obviously, I'm not making my pick officially right now, but that's that's where I was thinking. Just like, with I mean, the, uh, yeah. So just just for posterity, you've got Riddle, who's also another possibility because they can right. tell a story of he can't cash in on on Roman because he can't. He's not allowed to challenge Roman again. Well, so why would I that? Know, I, I don't know if Money in the Bank counts. I don't think it's good. WWE makes up their own rules as they go along. Yeah. So, um, wait, so, no, this is obvious. What are we doing? It's Omos, dude. Yeah, what? I mean, Sami Zayn or Omos? But yeah, Sheamus, Omos, Sami Zayn, whatever. But well, and then for the women, you've got Becky. Hold on, hold on, Asuka, hold on, hold on. Huh? Wait, wait, wait. So, I know, like Money in the Bank was supposed to be. To get that guy that was right on the edge into the main event scene. So, like, based on the pool here, it should be between Riddle and Omos, just because that would be how what money. Right, but I mean, right, but they've never done how they have the money in the bank set up. 
Right, they haven't done this in forever. But yeah, I mean, even when they did it, like the most recent one that I remember because it still has a sour taste in my mouth was Corbin. That was yeah. the guy that was right there. And then Vince was like, you're balding. You lose. Well, yeah, yeah, Damian Sandow. He was another one. That's, yeah, how, that's how Ziggler got into the main event scene. Yeah. Miz. Yeah. Like, so, uh, Big E. Yeah, Big E was a good one, too. But I, you, the way he was going, he could have just been in the main event scene. Yeah, but they've, they've had other years where Cena's won it. They Which, Orton's yeah. Won it, you know. That was uh, 2010's Raw was all main event people. And it was like. Yeah. What the? <laughs> yeah, so. I don't see Sheamus winning it, and and actually, I, I Drew's kind of a long shot because he's almost he's he he's already wrestling him at the uh, the the Clash of Clans or whatever. Oh. So, um, okay, yeah. But by, by by the time we actually get to that thing, I'll be, I will have just dubbed it Raid Shadow Legends or something. But um, Sami Zayn's probably not winning it. Although him winning it, I I, I like the idea that the premise: if he wins it, it's to protect Roman. To make sure no one cashes yeah. in on Roman, I, I, I like that. I don't see Omos doing it because, come on, like you know, so like you know, they they, they Although, talk about they talk about how green Jade Cargill is. That dude is like lime green. Although, although, it's like fresh cut grass. They also, they also. Uh, did this with me where there's no way this guy's winning and Otis gets the fucking briefcase. Yeah, yeah I forgot to <laughs> that too. Yeah. All right. So, and then moving on to the, the ladies, you've got uh, Becky Lynch, Asuka, Shotzi. I mean, good on them for putting her in the match. Uh, Lacey Evans, Raquel, what is her last name now on the main roster? Is it Rodriguez uh, or Gonzalez? Rodriguez. Uh, all right. Because uh, I now I can't remember which one was which. Uh, there's Liv like, uh, and uh, Liv and Alexa. So I like, would say, yeah, it's probably between – I would actually say it's probably between uh, Alexa and Becky Lynch as much as I'd like to see Liv Morgan get it. Well, there's five people in this match that really sh can all win it and it would be okay. Uh, actually, I think everybody except Shotzi winning it would be okay. It, I've got nothing against Shotzi. She's just not been booked to where you – like, or like, would be impressed with her winning. Like, she wins money in the bank. You're like, why? Right, hey, we did that with Carmella. Car yeah, but Carmella was, like, they had been pushing Carmella. You know, not <laughs> mega push, but she had right. been, you know, so. Well, this thing with Shotzi trying to be the leader to get everybody against Ronda, you could kind of, here's your shot to do it. Like, I it's think the same concept as it's, Carmella. I it's a little it. bit too little with Shotzi. I don't see. But here's the thing: I don't want Becky to have it. Like, screw that. I think you should eliminate Becky right out the rip because I, nobody wants to see that. We're not you eliminating, can, but yeah. No, but like you just nobody wants to see that. Over the top rope. That'd be so stupid. Like we don't want her to have it because I don't know cool. She's gonna cash in and get her thing back. Well, I don't think she's winning because I think we're still gonna see her. Going more crazier and crazier. I think Oscar would be weird because that almost feels like you'd just be giving her the shot to cash in that she didn't get to because Becky decided to have a baby. Um, yeah. Lacey Evans would be cool, I think, too soon, but cool. I like the idea of that. And then the other two would just be the blondes. Uh, Raquel Rodriguez winning it wouldn't be too far fetched, but again, She's in the same category as Shotzi, but for a different reason. She just got to the main roster, so let's find out who she is right now. She just flexes and smiles. Yeah, I was going to say, she's like... Yeah, so... Like, bro, um, what is this gimmick? Yeah, I like her better as a heel. I like Lacey Evans better as a heel, too. But, Isn't that what she is right now? Nobody knows. Like, okay. all of her promos are like, you know, she's a baby face, and then she acts like... Wait, what? I all of her promo, like the hype videos were all this, and then she comes out and she's like, "I'm better than all of you." Yeah, like, but she says it so nicely. Bye. That's all right. Listen, all right. we're wrong. I don't know why we didn't talk about this. Logan Paul is winning the Money in the Bank briefcase. 
which is why I'm holding out until I find out who's the mystery person. He's going to win if it's him. <laughs> no, I mean, he's, he's no, you, no, he won't he's, end his wife because it's such a step down to go from I have the money in the bank to feuding with Miz. And then Miz is going to be like, well, put the money in the bank on the line, and we're going to like, oh, God, here we go with this again. It's <laughs> crap again. <laughs> Like how do we get the how do we get the belt on Lashley without having him beat Drew? Miz, what are you doing tomorrow? Yeah, literally, it was so stupid. I mean, two times. How do we get the belt? How do we, how do we get the briefcase off of Otis right. as well as get the belt off of Drew? Why didn't they just – I think they should have just had Otis cash in on the tag team because that would have been an interesting swerve. Because it doesn't say you can't. It just says – Right, but Vince doesn't title. acknowledge tag teams that aren't related. Well, right. But it, at the time, it would have been fine. Uh, so, you all right, speaking of tag teams, you got the Usos versus Street Profits. It, it, it seems like they're gonna. It, I'm getting a sense that they're gonna be breaking up the Street Profits, which is a mistake because, because so, they don't have any other tag teams. So here's the thing: because I don't want to see the Usos in New Day 27. I think, but that that, by the time they wrestle again, they will have had more pay per view matches between each other than there are WrestleManias. But I think. Um, so here's the thing. So I think you have to have Dawkins take the pin because you can have Ford turn on him because Ford won his solo match against the uh, should be higher overall Jay um, to get the stipulation. Now, if you, I don't know if they picked it right after because I wasn't watching too closely. Um, if know. you had Dawkins pick it and then Dawkins loses, Ford could get fed up, you know? Now, it's a stupid, cheap way of breaking him up, but I don't think they should. But if you're so you're making Montez Ford the heel? Yes. Because I think Montez Ford is your money in that team. I think without Ford, Dawkins flops after a couple months. Nothing against him. He just he doesn't have the personality Ford does. And honestly, he's not bad. He doesn't have as much of the in-ring prowess and skill as Ford. I think he, Ford he would running. suffer because people would be comparing him to Ford too much. Right. You know, it would be the Shawn Michaels, Marty Jannetty situation. Uh, Shawn Michaels skyrocketed, and Marty Jannetty had all the talent. I mean, Marty Jannetty kept getting in his own way, but he had uh, he had. I don't want to say he had just as much talent as right. Shawn Michaels because I don't think just, anybody does. No, <laughs> but I mean. He was talented like Shawn Michaels. Right. You know, so he he could, you know, he he was good and and given a little bit more personality and maybe a little bit more of a, a, a more noticeable move set, he could stand he could have been the standout of the two. And that's what you, he could have stood out right. just as much as, you know, but it just didn't work out that way. You I think you'd have to have Dawkins be the heel, because that would give him a character. Um, but I don't understand why Dawkins would Turn on him. You don't have a story there. Like, oh, I'm tired of losing. It's your fault, bro. I won the match to get us the stipulation. What are you talking about? <laughs> like, but, and, but here's the thing. Or you can have it be like a jealousy thing because who does, who always tags in and does the big spot for the win when they win? Ford. Yeah. So, because in order for Dawkins to not get thrown under the, like, just be completely gone after like a week of being split, he'd have to be the heel because I would give him personality. Because all Dawkins has been, and he could claim this, was Ford's hype man. Like, if you look at every promo, you look at all the stuff they do, and it works, but Dawkins is the hype guy, he's the muscle. Oh, God, what? <laughs> Little Rhea's falling asleep. <laughs> so we, we, we've spent more time talking about the Street Profits than we did Forbidden Door, so we're moving on. It's something uh, to actually talk about, though. I've heard this rant before. I heard it last night or something, so. Oh, okay. So, all right. Uh, Theory and Lashley, how are you going to have Theory be? Because Theory retains, 
I I I believe he's Gee, got it. Get DQ'd? I don't fucking know. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's I don't see. Him. Especially if he's going to move on from Lashley to Cena. Right. Which I don't know when. I don't know if that's going to be a SummerSlam thing or maybe yeah. they're going to save that for later. But you know yeah. it's coming. I don't know. I mean. I think they booked themselves into a corner. They should have had him feuding with, like, Otis. You give him this win, it's huge. Yeah. However, why am I to believe Theory can beat Lashley? Now, Theory's never looked weak, but the one time he faced a big guy, Brock suplexed him twice. He ran around for five minutes in the Elimination Chamber and then got suplexed. Like, that is your U.S. champ that is supposed to beat Lashley? Unless, okay, I'm going to talk about NXT for a second. Because this week's NXT had one like one of the smartest angles going into a champion, like an underdog championship match that I've seen in a long time, which was when <laughs> Braun Breaker Braun broke the uh, top turnbuckle with his shoulder, and so now he's hurt, right. and there's something for Cameron Grimes to focus on. Where now the the playing field's level. It would almost have to be something which, first of all, saying the NXT did something smart booking. NXT 2.0 did something smart with well, their booking. Well, well. I know. Well, the, the, the word is Triple H isn't quite back at NXT yet. Right, so, but you here's the other thing. You don't have Vince going, that's stupid. So no, they might be able you, to. If you think Vince is hands off right now, you're crazy. Not hands off, but I can't, I don't know. But, um. But no, but but still, with with that, like, if they do something, they don't have to do obviously the exact same spot. That would be silly. But um, they but might, you can. Though. Who watches NXT? Like, <laughs> yeah, but they post the clips on YouTube, so that's true. But so um, does AEW Dark, and who watches that? Yeah, fair. Uh, certain wrestlers' families, but um, maybe. Yeah. If they're like the main, if they're actually the signed people, because if they're not, they lose in three minutes. But I would, um, I, I would definitely have Lash, and I think w- weren't they working an injury angle with, with Lashley against like in his in recent matches or something? Didn't somebody? I don't remember. God, it all blends together. Raw is such a void of anything interesting half the I time. I don't watch anything except the pay per view, so. Yeah, but they post the clips on YouTube. But um, yeah, you really think I'm looking at the Bobby Lashley highlights? I don't care. <laughs> first, first of all, uh, WWE on Fox does the uh, SmackDown in three minutes recap yeah. thing, and that is like the greatest thing ever. Um, but I actually pay attention to SmackDown for some. Yeah, me too. But the um, but yeah, so I don't see a universe where straight up, like you built Lashley into this monster. Right. Who, like, you know, he, he ended up losing to Roman, but kind of barely in a way. Uh, you know, he beat Drew. He's beaten everybody. You know, he you know, he had Brock he, beat. I know this isn't much because nobody cares about him, but, like, he won that Omos feud. Yeah. So, uh... Um, handicapped. Like... Yeah. So, you, mean, you basically spent the last two years ma- building him. Like, basically, once you kind of got over the whole... Bobby and his three sisters thing. Once you actually started like booking him seriously, you built him in like with the hurt business and all that. You made him into a monster. You're not gonna have theory just beat him straight up. So theory, theory's gotta do like there's gotta be some sort of injury angle or I don't you know, here's the thing. And every the time MVP I've ever here. I've ever picked who? Oh MVP. M- yeah, I mean anytime I have ever picked this way it's never happened this is the one time that this motherfucker's getting DQ'd on purpose or leaving he's not finishing this match I can't see that like Bobby's walking away with with a win but not the belt I think but every time I say that and every time I pick that they manage to do it just enough that I lose the point yeah and um we'll keep this one short I have never cared less about a Ronda Rousey match. Dude, I wanted this when she was first around because it was there was a story there. You waited too long. I, they, I think they did 
Russell, but it was it was before Ronda was champ, so it had like no real stakes. No, and they were still friends. Oh, yeah, that's what it was. yeah, that was the stupid part. You need a Natalia being like, I made you a WWE superstar. You were good on in your you know UFC, but I showed you how to do it here, and you yeah. left me. Like that's how you should have played that. And, and while while uh, Natty coming out dressed as Rondo with the baby stroller was funny, mm. it did nothing for this feud. No, it was pointless. And mm. we'll end that there. Um, Is there any other match? Did we skip one? No, we've still got the uh, Bianca match. Is that That's it? it? That's it. Oh God, I thought there was another match. No, we could we could fit on this. Yeah, one. we could fit it in. Okay, well, and action. So I, I guess the last match to talk about is uh, Bianca Belair and Carmella, which I. So Natty's already busy. You've got all the people that they were going to put in the uh, the women's money in the bank match, and you all you have, and then Rhea gets hurt. All you have left is Carmella. You had a perfectly good Nikki A.S.H. sitting there. At you one point, you had a perfectly good Tegan Knox sitting there. You, you had, had a perfectly, perfectly good, good Dakota good. Kai you could Tony call up. Storm. I mean, that was a while like, further away, but Tony Storm would fit in the great in these situations. I'd be I, – I, I call up Lash Legend for a match, maybe? Or yeah, maybe, maybe dude, I would – Maybe pushing it. You could have, realistically, you could have thrown Mandy up. But, like, she could come up and be like, oh, I, you guys need somebody here. You need some star power. That could have been part of her character. Now, she would lose, and that might hurt her a little bit. But, like, I don't mean, Corey Jade. I mean, there's people that you had that you could have used if you're just going to have somebody to feed Bianca's win-loss record. Well, see, the, the problem, and I know I'm the one that mentioned it, but it's the problem local with talent somewhere. Yeah, well, the problem with calling somebody up for something like that is you have the Paige AJ Lee situation where the champs got to be the heel because they're not really a credible threat. But if they're babyface, you have the underdog story you could tell. So, you know, yeah. I could see why. But again, like Carmella, just so it's it's such an uninteresting matchup. Okay, Watch wait. her win. Shayna Baszler. Shayna, yeah. Like, again, it's somebody that we know it's not going to happen, but, like, she could beat Bianca, like, in theory. We know it wouldn't happen, but, like, I could see it. I mean, she's just as credible. I mean, hell, you could even throw Zelina Vega at her. Yeah. Who I haven't seen in a while. I think she's hurt, actually. Oh, okay. Uh, maybe, yeah. I don't know. I don't know, but like you know, Shayna was around all over Instagram. I'll tell you Eve that. was around. I would, you know, they put on good matches. Like, yeah, but yeah, so that's that's basically our base. God, such a man pay per view. It's Money in the Bank. It's essentially like the it replaces like Big Four A. Yeah, it, it's it's the new Survivor Series, or it was for the past couple of years. Yeah, so and now the Survivor right. Series hit. Like, yeah. So, all right, picks are going to be at the end of the video, along with, like, super cool music. And um, I don't know. I mean, I'm just trying to give Kevin McLeod a shout-out. But um, the uh, – such a blah pay-per-view. I can't get over just how, like, Money in the Bank used to be our favorite pay-per-view. Yeah, I still – you know, I like Survivor Series still. <laughs> Screw it up every year. Yeah, fair. All right. So I've been Big Papa Grump. And uh, that's been Junior and Little Rhea, who actually said a couple things this week. So progress is being made. Eventually, yeah, she'll she'll be the one doing all the talking instead of me. All right, Big Papa Grump. I'll catch you next time. Uh, first on there. Yeah, figured that <laughs> such stuff so late. Papa Junior, dude, nobody cares. It's just I had the amount of much energy they put in Money in the Bank as I did in my outro. Fair enough. All right.